Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hoping you're having a good math day. Thank you for watching this clip on trig identities and exact value. We're given cosine x is minus 3 over 5 and it's in second quadrant. We're supposed to find x over 2 cosine value of it. Chinese say that a picture is worth 1,000 words. Let's start with the picture here. Second quadrant is over here. And we're given cosine is minus 3 over 5. So 3 over 5. Well, my picture is off a little bit. So here's the x. Now earlier tape, if you look onto the my channel, Tucson Math Doc, and do a search on exact value, there's a whole bunch of worked out examples describe what this reference angle is. Knowing how to find a reference angle is critical solving those exact value problems. So reference angle. Now I'll just quickly mention the reference angle is always, always in reference to the horizontal or x-axis. This x is not the same x as over there. Okay, so reference angle is always with reference to X axis. In our case here, I put a little R here for our reference angle. So here's my little reference angle. The, the reason that reference angle is so important is that it gives you a quicker way. Pythagorean theorem, this is 4. I'm going to draw, draw my little reference angle out here. So this is my little R, and this is 3, this is 5 units, and this is 4 units. Okay. Reference angle gives me all the values for the exact value problem. And in our case here, I'm also going to use the fact that cosine 2 alpha is twice cosine alpha squared minus 1. Okay. This is not a surprising because cosine alpha is 2 alpha is cosine squared minus sine squared. It's also equal to 1 minus twice sine of alpha. What you really need to remember is this one. Okay, from there, you can pretty much derive everything else. Since we were given cosine alpha, I'm going to use that one instead. So well, what I will have is cosine x is equal to twice cosine squared x over 2 minus 1, because the relationship between the two is half. Okay, from there, I'm going to solve for it. So cosine x plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to cosine squared x over 2. Okay, I'm going to substitute in here. I have minus 5, uh, 3 over 5, plus 1. I'm going to divide it by 2. That's equal to cosine squared x over 2. So a couple more steps. And this is 2 over 5 times 1 over 2 is equal to cosine squared x over 2. So cosine of x over 2 is equal to positive. I'll explain later on why we have positive. Or cosine x over 2 is equal to radical 5 over 5. Okay. Now for this particular problem, you can actually find what x is. If you know cosine x is equal to minus 3 over 5, and it's also in quadrant 2. The angle turned out to be, I think it's 126 degrees or so, roughly in that. Now, the reason this one is a positive, and I picked a positive over here, is because I know the angle x over 2 is going to be in quadrant 1. Okay, so earlier from my picture here, x is in quadrant 2, half of x is going to land in quadrant 2. This is half of x. So in my final answer here, cosine of x over 2 is radical 5 over 5. Well, that's how we handle this type of problem. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan. If the video has been helpful, I'd appreciate it to leave a comment or a vote of thumb up. Until next time.
Have a confident day.